Hello and welcome to Packinson. My name is Jake and today we're going to be talking about something that I haven't actually discussed on the channel yet, which is Project Horizon at Alton Towers. If you somehow didn't know what Project Horizon was, it's a 71 meter by 46 meter building um, coming to Alton Towers housing their newest roller coaster. Now, um, we learned about this, this new development in November 2022 and up to this point we're yet to see construction. It's going to be situated on the site of the former Alton Mouse roller coaster, which closed in 1991. So it's the west of the Alton Towers dungeon. So far, there's been very few details announced about this new coaster. Um, lots of people have been speculating online. A few people have been speculating about an Intamin coaster. Um, there was a teaser dropped not too long ago, uh, disclosing it could be an RMC. Um, I'll discuss that very shortly. But with no details, either way, the new attraction is set to open in 2025. But bearing in mind we've seen no construction, um, but bearing in mind we've seen no construction yet, um, a 2025 opening is seeming less and less likely uh, as time goes on. Since it was announced, we'd have expected to see some sort of construction or some sort of activity taking place around the uh, that area of the park, but there hasn't seemed to be any just yet. There could be a multitude of reasons for this. Um, my first guess would be access, so there's the potential that there is actually construction taking place, but we can't see it from inside the park. It's quite out of the way, and that area of the park hasn't been open for quite some time now, sort of towards where Gangster Granny is. It's also quite hidden away, so there's potential that uh, construction has already gone vertical, we just haven't noticed. Again, I don't know this, I'm just speculating. As for what I think the ride's going to be, um, I don't know. I think there's a potential for an Intamin multi-dimension coaster. I think that would work pretty well um, in the building of that size. It could be given a specific theme. Um, they, could, they could add a world's first element into it, such as, I don't know, first Intamin uh, multi-dimension coaster with uh, 30 straight sections of track in it. You know what Alton Towers are like? They, get, they try and search for those world's firsts. Or, potentially, this could just be a really big wacky worm. We, we don't know. One thing we do know is that there will be a plaza built in front of the, the entrance to the building, um, which provides the potential for new food outlet. It also um, provides potential for some new flat rides. Uh, Alton Towers do not have a good <laughs> relationship with flat rides at the moment, so it would be great to see them bring in some more additions uh, alongside the coaster, burst the crowd a little bit more. That would be good. Now, in terms of clues for what this ride could actually be, um, it's been confirmed there's going to be a big ring-like structure in front of the entrance, and um it, it they've said it's going to be taller than the building and also um it's going to sort of peer over the entrance at an angle if that makes sense so you'll be walking through it on your way into the attraction which is pretty cool this sort of, it's sort of like an indicator that there could be some sort of spaceship theme or could be geometry we could be getting a geometric wacky worm anyway i've talked about what i think it could be but now back to the point of the video Will Project Horizon be delayed? Now, this is a big question on a lot of enthusiasts' mind. Um, ugh, I don't know. Um, the, the sort of the lack of visible construction certainly suggests um, that there's been some delays, potentially in um, sourcing parts for the ride, or you know, sourcing staff, or maybe maybe they've run into some construction issues already. You just don't know at this point in time. You would expect construction to have at least gone vertical at this point as opposed to having nothing at all as well as that there's been no official announcements uh, regarding the project other than that silly little rmc video roll the clip so a lot of you have asked when will we see an rmc design at a park can we can we cut the camera we can't be talking about anything potentially on the horizon this is what i think i wouldn't be surprised if the uh, in fact I'm, I'm almost certain that this isn't going to open in 2025 the way construction is at the moment i mean we, we could, you can see it at flamingo land the lost river ride just as an example check out those videos just the sort of construction process takes so much longer now than it ever has done before there's been a lot of new regulations put into place um which alton towers will have to follow um in terms of construction and planning and all of that sort of thing staff staffing's been an issue it's like a worldwide industry um every industry struggling for staff obviously i don't i'd like to stress i don't know this i'm just throwing ideas out and things that might be the case now going back to what it could be because i can't stop talking about it the last roller coaster on towers was obviously wicker man which opened in 2018 which was a family thrill coaster 
probably more of a family coaster than a fuel coaster, but leave that one for the comments. It's actually been 11 years since the, the latest thrill coaster at the park opened, obviously the Smiler in 2013. Now, in that 11 years, a lot's happened. Um, there was way more flat rides at the beginning when Smiler opened. They've also gained three dark rides, albeit in the past three or four years since since uh, Gangster Granny, um, Nemesis Subterra, and Curse. My brain's so slow today, opened. So what I'm saying is a, a thrill coaster is long overdue at Alton Towers. You need something that's going to impress people, put it back on the map. They've got like an astronomical year this year. See, space theme, astronomical, no, okay. Reopening of Nemesis, hopefully some new flat rides. There's going to be loads of events at the park this year. Fingers crossed they're going to be running off of the back of a really successful season this year. And they'll be able to push the construction forwards to hopefully open maybe mid-2025. Uh, I don't think it will open at the start of 2025. That's another thing. It doesn't have to open on opening day of the park. Uh, it could open during the summer. They like sick did it for Mingoland, but that's a whole other story. What do you think is happening with Project Horizon? Do you think that I'm wrong and that actually it's going to open on the 9th of March when the park opens this year? Is it is like a, a big surprise or do you think it's never going to open or do you think that the whole thing is going to be a Zamperla variety? Zamperla variety. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found something informative, uh, or maybe if you want to check out some more videos, link in the description. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. See ya.